Marcus Conti reporting, trying to get up to speed on Chelsea Manning and the uh, the connection to Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. The case is developing. Je- Chelsea Manning was locked up, as we know, for the last two months, but she was released for a while because the grand jury that was assembled to siphon information out of her wa- uh, has expired. So now we're in a new stage of she has been released from jail, sat in jail for two months. The first 30, 30 days of those two months were in solitary confinement for the crime of refusing to testify to the grand jury uh, about stuff that, uh, that she had already testified for back in 2017. All the information, same questions, right? So let's have a look. So there was a press conference. The, I have the... Um, We'll look at the indictment again, and let's look at some of the footage, right? The actual, what did Chelsea, why is Chelsea Manning an American hero? What did, what exactly did the then Bradley Manning, the, the uh, military analyst, what kind of revelations did this person release? And uh, it's pretty shocking. We'll watch the video, the famous one, the gun down video. But this is, um, here's Chelsea Manning in, uh, in her own words. How are you doing? All right, cool. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so two months ago, the federal government issued me a subpoena as a, uh, here at this, uh, to appear before this uh, courthouse before the grand jury. As a general principle, I object to the whole institution of grand juries. Um, prosecutors run grand juries behind closed doors in secret. Based on my refusal to answer questions two months ago, uh, the grand jury, uh, com- you know, com- you know, uh, compelled me to, or in order to try to compel me to testify, uh, they sent me into confinement. So I got released last week, and here I am today with the same subpoena, or a different subpoena with the same questions. Right, so so that's the overview of it. But let's here's there's a part right here where she actually talks about WikiLeaks, and then we'll look at the we'll look at the actual indictment, and we'll look at some of that footage because it's it's unbelievable, really. Any other questions? What's your impression of uh, Julian Assange's U.S. indictment, and you know your name being invoked in that? So. I've, I've actually reviewed the evidence in this case. The question was, what's your, what's your take on the Julian Assange indictment? Because she's, she, Chelsea Manning, for the most part, hasn't been very vocal about that part of it. She's more concerned with her own well-being and has been mostly quiet uh, regarding, the Manning, regarding the connection to WikiLeaks. But here, for the first time, I think she's actually speaking about it. Uh, much of it is classified still so i can't really talk about that but what i can say is that the the, and i've read the i've read the indictment i've read the affidavit that's attached to the indictment and the case doesn't make sense it seems kind of bananas in comparison to the evidence that we that we got out and the interviews that we've had so it it, it's just a very bananas case it doesn't it, it it i don't know what the government's doing with that so arrested and then to see his indictment come out and see your name in there well i think what i think what's more important here is the fact that there's already been an indictment so if if it if it if there's already an indictment then why are we going through the grand jury process so because the purpose of the grand jury is to obtain indictments it's not to it's not to like review testimony or preview testimony uh and that's one of the problems with the, the that's one of the issues that we're raising is that if if this is for a if this is for a case in which there's already an indictment, why is there a grand jury subpoena? That's very powerful what you just said, because the grand jury's job is to indict, right? And Assange has already been indicted, right? Here's the here's the indictment. We have the indictment. Right? That's the indictment. So what so basically what they're trying to do, what the grand jury is trying to do, not the grand jury, but the prosecutors that are going to present Assange's stuff to the grand jury, they're trying to get new information. That's the idea, right? Because they don't have enough to go on, right? I don't think Manning has ever really 
But let's look at before we jump into the to the uh, to the actual indictment. Let's look at what Chelsea Manning actually revealed. Right now, these are war crimes, right? It's this is an American hero that that was in a position, saw criminal activity, and revealed it. And if you don't believe it, here it is. Roger, I just estimated there's about twenty of them. There's, yeah. Oh yeah. Right, there is. There's one. There. Yeah, there's about twenty of them. That's a weapon. Yeah. So he's calling right away. The 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 operator's calling the camera a weapon. I can't he can't tell a weapon he can't tell a he can't tell a weapon from the camera. That guy's a That guy's a reporter by the way. Now, those are arguably weapons. They do look like weapons. But again, you're in, it's, it's Iraq. They're on their own property. I mean, you're, you're invading their, their land. Are they shooting at you? Roger that. Uh, we have no personnel east of our position. So uh, you are free to engage over. All right, we'll be engaging. Roger, go ahead. I'm gonna, I can't get them now because they're behind that building. Uh, anybody has an element? Call back. We got an RPG. All right, we got a guy with an RPG. I'm gonna fire. Okay, no, hold on. Let's come around. We can't feel it. Let's come from our point of view. Yeah, we're gonna come around. Let's get them all. Come on, let's get them all. Let's get 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 all. They're, they're, they're developing a, they're getting consent for the crime, basically saying, oh, they got guns, they're wheeling AK-47s. Meanwhile, the guy's walking with a camera, and the other guy is probably looking through the scope to see why is there a helicopter flying over their head. Coming around. Uh, now, he was uh, right in front of the Brad, uh, about there, 1 o'clock. Haven't seen anything since. So he already, again, the operator already has permission to engage. You heard him. We have permission to engage. He's just, he's just rounding the building, getting, trying to get a clear shot. Just fucking, once you get on, just open up. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. Um, uh, I see your element. You got uh, about four Humvees uh, out along this. Uh, You're clear. Uh, All right, firing. Line here. When the state line, uh, let me know when you get it. What shoot? Light them all up. Come on, fire. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. We need to move time now. Alright, we just engaged all eight individuals. Now we have two birds. We're still firing. Roger. Got him. Six is a two-six. We're moving. We got this. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I was on the bypass. God damn it, Kyle. Sorry. I hit him. I hit him. So they're shooting, they're shooting unarmed people, unarmed civilians, right? So that's part of, I mean, you can make a case that, oh, it's war and oh, that's all that shit, right? But that was part of what Manning revealed, right? So, so just look at some of, the, some of what's in this indictment. Assange was founder of WikiLeaks uh, website. The WikiLeaks website publi- uh, publicly solicited submissions of classified, censored, and other restricted information. Well, a pu- for a publisher to solicit, again, no crime. It's not a crime for a, for a publisher to say, yeah, we publish classified information. If you have some, send it to us. Right? That's, that's not a crime. Assange, who did not possess a security clearance or need to know, was not authorized to receive classified information of the United States. He doesn't have to be authorized. He's a publisher. First Amendment. Um between um, so between January 10 and May 10, right? This is some of what Chelsea Manning released, right? Nearly complete databases, nearly four complete databases from the department and agencies of the United States. These databases contained 9,000 Afghanistan war-related significant activity reports, 40,000, 400,000 Iraqi war-related significant activity 
reports, 800 Guantanamo detainee assessment briefs, and 250,000 U.S. Department of uh, State cables. Right? All this information, including these videos that we're seeing, this is where Assange got it uh, when he published it, right? So, so the whole thing talks about Manning. It talks about Assange trying to helping Manning crack a password, right? And they, again, there's no evidence of any of that. But that's that's the gist of the um, that's the gist of the indictment, right? And in, in, even in the in the last line, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It's very involved. Uh, well, it's actually very thin, but it, it's. Um, so Assange indicated that he had been trying to crack the password by stating that he had no luck so far. All right, so that's that's essentially what's going on with Chelsea Manning, right? There is there there already is an indictment on the table, but the indictment is flimsy and it's contingent on the testimony, the live testimony of the person making the allegations, and that person is Chelsea Manning, right? So. Why are they trying to, what is the government interested in if you've already made your indictment and it's thin, right? What you're trying to do is you're trying to firm up the indictment by getting new information out of Chelsea Manning, right? Which is really, it's really just a foul. You know, you're playing with people's lives, right? Chelsea Manning served seven years in jail for the release of the classified information, right? That's, that's a crime, right? And her sentence was commuted by Barack Obama, uh, but now they're trying to get they're trying to get Julian Assange because he embarrassed everybody. He released this stuff as a publisher, and um, you know, and in addition, of course, to the DNC leaks uh, and Podesta's emails and all that stuff, right? It's all it's all fair game, right? But it's it's a very flimsy it's a very very flimsy argument, and what, what I'm trying to say is that. Chelsea Manning is now going to get thrown back in jail and tortured and, and, and held in confinement. Uh, she says no way, not, not absolutely no way will she testify. It's very, very powerful. You know, it's a very, very powerful uh, individual standing on principle. No way will I testify uh, because she's a fundamental disbelief in the, um, the process of grand jury. But... Nonetheless, this is how they get you, right? Even if you're, you're all, they're all guilty until proven innocent, right? Assange is guilty until proven innocent. All right, he's got to do his, his 26 days or 50 days or whatever in, in Belmarsh for jumping bail. But after that's over, this is, this is the real story, right? And it just doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like it has any weight or credibility unless Chelsea Manning goes on the record and gives them more of what they need to hang Assange. Marcus Conti reporting.